Hey there everyone, it's me, Vanta Black, and today I'm here to review the Librem 5. This sucker right here. This is a Linux phone. I was given one of these for free by someone on the Fediverse who just didn't want it, and I tried to daily drive it for the better half of a week before I realized there was just no way it would work out. Why? Well, three things. One, the battery. This is the biggest one. Even if you enable suspend mode, which makes notifications useless, you can still only get halfway decent battery life. If you rely on your phone to be, you know, a phone when you're out and about, you're pretty much screwed. I found myself actively limiting my usage of the Librem 5 down to the bare minimum of basic things. What's the point of having a Linux phone if it makes you afraid to even use it for any of the cool features? Also, it randomly turns off sometimes when it's in suspend mode. Charming. Really reminds me this is a Linux phone. Half the time I'm in convergence mode with the next dock even and just trying to resize a window will crash it. 2. The camera. I'm a huge selfie whore. The camera is halfway serviceable. Maybe, if you don't intend on using a selfie stick. I use a Bluetooth one and I couldn't get mine working. It doesn't have the camera app, it doesn't have a timer feature or autofocus or... You have to manually adjust a bunch of shit with every shot. If you care about picture quality, well, you know. Here are some pictures I took with the Librem 5 camera. It's serviceable, but the lack of features really makes it less than great. My previous phone was from like 2018, so I was excited to get something newer. Somehow this phone from 2020 was still a downgrade. 3. App availability. I know you can get the mobile versions of websites as web apps, but for a lot of things those don't really have full functionality. If you rely on apps like Cash App or PayPal to stay alive, you're shit out of luck. Sure, you can always use something like Wagedroid to emulate some Android apps. Even use a special image if you want GPS to be passed through. But even then, some apps will just refuse to work because your device doesn't pass the integrity check or whatever. I found myself having to keep my old phone around anyways just to use PayPal and take selfies. And at that point I was like, why even bother? 3.5. Assorted gripes. There's just straight up no way to get a case for this thing, like a decent one, like one that actually protects the whole phone. Nobody manufactures them, neither first nor third party. I had to resort to asking people on the Fediverse to 3D print me one, like, look at this. It looks really cool, but like, you know. Also, convergence with the next dock, as previously mentioned, is janky as hell. Shit's prone to crashing when you resize a window or just do nothing even. In closing, I think the Librem 5 has a good while to go before it can be truly suited for daily use. Maybe if they optimize the kernel a shit ton and release some bigger batteries, we'll have something halfway workable. But as it stands right now, there is just no way. I'm probably going to try to trade this for a Steam Deck or something because I really want one. I can't really see a use for this between not being able to daily drive it and convergence with the next dock being janky as fuck at best. It was really cool and I'm really happy I was given it, but yeah. Hey, you want to see me review more Linux phones? Send them to me. I'll leave my info in the video description. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, or night, or whatever time.